So what is going on guys, Kades here, welcome back to a brand new video and for today I will show you the top 8 best escape rooms in Fortnite Creative. Like we know the escape rooms are one of the hardest parkour maps aka puzzle maps in Fortnite itself and there's really few of them and really hard to train for them or get them so that's why I made this video, I researched a bunch of videos, a bunch of forums and everything else and I found the top 8 best and the hardest ones for you. You will be able to see from one of the biggest maze runs ever and even up to hardcore ice skating, full escape room just made out of glass and of course much more. But like per usual guys, don't forget to stick till the end of this video because I'll be giving every map review a code and a specific guide on what things you need to know and what not so you can choose whatever map you want to complete and the hardest or easy escape rooms from all this list. With that said, let's get right into it. So first map on my list is one of the biggest maps ever created in Fortnite. Oof, in my opinion this is amazing. It's a huge maze run so first of all you can spawn up to four people. Each of you get some healing, some shields, they are secret spots where you you can like I just mentioned get some health and then you just go right into the labyrinth itself and of course this map in general is a hybrid so puzzle map escape room parkour and everything else is combined in this one like i previously mentioned is the huge one whenever you turn left or right and whenever you make a bad choice you die either way from traps from ice from electric fences and a bunch of times even there's robots who are just firing at you so the creator itself made like really look realistic for the players like it was in the movie. In my opinion this could map be really good to play with your friends. So for example two guys go in one direction and two to another. And then whoever finds out the exit out of this map I guess wins. And on top of all that like I mentioned there are so many things that will try to kill you. Traps, bounce pads shooting robots even your own teammates will probably try to be the fastest so they could get the victory but all in all amazing map really huge one and in my opinion 10 out of 10. so going over to the next map this one is with a little bit more classic and more features it has made been in the castle again it's an escape room so there are many rooms which will try to kill you and some rooms will advance you to the next level the main objective is to get out of prison aka the castle like per almost every escape map there will be robots that will try to kill you, traps, jump pads, bounce pads and of course don't forget that all times you will not know to where to go so use all the furniture that you can to jump through some stuff and figure out the exit. Going over to the next map, this one is in my opinion the most unique one, it's called Inception. So if you haven't watched the movie itself, basically the simple concept is that you are in the dream and you can build the world by yourself with whatever you want. So like you can see the map creator itself made everything upside down. The main objective and the items that only you can use is the grappler and you need to find the exit so I guess you could just go out of the dream and in the real world. Don't forget that there will be a lot of things and like secret spots which you will need to find out by yourself remember you can only use grappler so be careful and always be on the run because you will need to be clicking to get to the next spot in my opinion it will be not one of the hardest maps and not the easiest but the most fun and definitely with the grappling aspect it will add a lot to this map okay so taking a look at the next one this one in my opinion is really like confusing in a bit i could say so basically there will always be three options either way go into the middle left or right so whenever you do something wrong or choose the wrong direction you die that's it no response whatsoever there are very few levels but there will be a really hard ones the main objective of this map is of course to use your brain, few of your parkour skills and like I mentioned trying to find the exit. No grapplers, no redeploys or anything like that whatsoever and as well no items. So you're by yourself with a bunch of traps, bounce pads and I guess you just need to find the exit. In my opinion it has really simple design but I could like really enjoy sometimes really simple things but really fun. So in my free time I could just complete them whenever I don't have things to do. Taking a look at the next map, this one I would say is a close to the previous one but it's made more like as a labyrinth aka a maze run but inside the cube itself so you can't see like outside or anything like that. Again whenever you run into dead end you'll get trapped, bounce padded or just in general something will happen to you. Again a really fun map especially with your friends to find trying to exit. No PvP or anything like that whatsoever but it still has a bunch of options. There's like the maze type of thing in close quarters. You can't really see or know direction you are going so I guess it adds to the element of surprise so you can have more fun. So yeah if you're in that type of thing this is the map for you. Going over to the next map this one is in my opinion the hardest one from all of this ones if we are not counting the first map which was really huge. 
This one isn't as huge, but is really hard because there will be always about two to three options where you can go and everything in general will be really confusing because most of the time you will not know direction or the path you're going and you will need to figure out by yourself. But I guess in my opinion, that's why like people play escape rooms so they can figure out those things. So I guess I would recommend this map for players who don't like parkour or they are really bad at it, but want to figure out the way where to go and most of the time be stuck in the maze with a bunch of obstacles and secret passageways to find, then this is the map for you. So going over to one of the last ones, this one was in my opinion the second most, my favorite one. It still added a huge element of parkour, but with an escape room element. So for example, you will see 20 blocks, but you have no idea where the next level is. So for example, a bunch of times I jumped to one corner, died again, then jumped to another, and I never knew where the next level is. So I guess that added the element of surprise as per usual in the escape rooms. But the most fun part was that every level was different. There was about five to 10 of them and they had waypoints and a bunch of other elements that I kind of found very fun. Sadly, this is a single player map, so you can only play by yourself. And going over to the last map, this one is fully made out of glass. There's about four levels, four different colors, and you just need to find the exit. Everything will be like really blurry and most of the time, like for all maps, you will not know where to go. But in my opinion, this is 100% the hardest map ever because you're so confused, you have no idea where to go in the map. You can't see a single thing and you're always stuck within one color. I have as well in previous videos mentioned this map. So I guess it has no need for any more introductions. Really hard, a really confusing map, but if you're into that type of stuff, then this is the one for you. But with that said, I really appreciate him for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Like per usual guys, don't forget to comment in comment section down below the next top 10 list you want me to make or any other stuff or future video improvements. And on top of all that, if you enjoyed this video, click like and don't forget to click subscribe to keep to up to date with every video that I make, which is every single day. So in this channel, you'll be able to see any top 10 list from going from the best maps in Fortnite, the most fun, the hardest parkours, the easiest, what specifically pro players are using for their peripherals, settings and much more. So guys, if you're interested in any of those things or even more map lists for creative mode, then check my channel out. Like I mentioned, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. My name is Cade, signing out, have a good one, see you tomorrow, peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame, though it might be